Now, Shane Dawson. He is one of my best friends and someone who helped me remember who I am when I was starting to crack and lose focus of who I really was. He is genuine, amazing, he is selfless, and he is one of the most kind people that I've ever met in my entire world. I know that Shane would put his family and friends before himself in a flash. Now, did Shane and I get caught up in the drama and do some dumb shit? Of course we did, but that is my best friend and I was actually truly shocked that people thought that I was going to distance myself from him or that my silence was anything but support. I know Shane from now. I don't know Shane from 10 years ago and he doesn't know me from 10 years ago. Now, do I agree with Shane's past actions? Of course I don't. And does he agree with my past behavior? Of course he doesn't. I know the amazing person that he is today and you don't abandon your friends. I know a lot of people have said, Jeffrey, you've had a lot of tumultuous friendships in the beauty world. Yes, I 100% have, but in reality, I have a lot of amazing real people behind the scenes and I'm forever grateful for those people who always remind me of who I am because lately, I definitely was slipping. Now, what me and Shane accomplished together, business-wise, I hope that inspires anyone out there that wants to start a business, that is an entrepreneur, or who is afraid to get off their feet. Because remember, I used to be homeless and work at the mall. <laughs> and I really just said, you know what? I wanna create my own vision, and that's what I did. And he has always believed in me. All right, now, no matter what narrative anyone tries to spin of me, I am so fucking proud to own an inclusive myself, 100% and that is my fault. I would like to personally apologize to James Charles for the words that I've said and for my actions. If I was really close with someone, I should have had the ability to just simply call them and ask and say, hey, these were the things that were being said to me. Instead, I didn't. I let people really gas me up, get me going behind the scenes, and I really fell for a lot of things and I got caught up in the hype. It's disgusting, it's awful, and none of it should have happened. So James, I am truly sorry for my actions and my behavior. 2020 has been very tumultuous for a lot of us. It has been a very crazy year. And I think that James and myself and anyone involved would agree with me that there are way bigger issues happening on this planet. I know that some people may, Jeffrey, you're just saying this as a distraction. Jeffrey, you, no, reality is here and makeup, drama and beauty community, gossip, and tea. It may be entertainment for you, and it used to be for me, but it's my life and it's their lives. And right now, outside of our walls, our world is falling apart, and it's truly shocking. So I'm not going to give you an expose of the beauty community. I'm not going to end anyone today. I've never blackmailed anyone in my life. I've never committed a crime before, and I've never been to jail.